I have been hunting for the perfect coding assistant, something that actually understand how to fix bugs, not just to spit out code that barely works. First, I found Klein, and and I thought it's the best thing out there. But right now, I found continue.dev, and things change a little bit. Look, I know we have all seen these AI coding tools, but let me tell you, this one is a little bit different. Not only continue the dev autocomplete and let me chat with the code, fix bugs on the fly, and even tweak the code with a single command inside the page itself. And get this, you get a free trial where you could test it with the gbt 4 o model. But here is the kicker. I compared it head to head with Klein. Let's just say that Klein has some serious competition that is coming up. With that being said, let's just dive into the video. Before I start, I want to thank everyone that have been giving me ideas down below in the comments and suggesting a new tools to try and compare it to Klein. I really appreciate you. Thank you for existing. To be completely honest about this kind of review, I will go to my extension and disable Klein currently. And also I'm gonna disable Super Maven, the auto compilation that I am using, disabling Super Maven. And now we can install continue.dev. Yes, it's over here, this kind of extension, continue, code stroll and Claudia and more, and hit install over there. Now we can start using it. As you can see here, after it's installed, I have the icon pop up on the bar. When I click it, it will give me this kind of chat. It have a free trial, which will allow us to use a couple of awesome model like gbt 4 o amazing. The Lemus 370B model, it's a decent model. The Crystal from Mr. AI. Have other options like the Olama, where I already have the Quint 2.5 coder, which is an amazing model also. And you can add a ton of other models. You can add from Claudia, you can add from Anthropica, Azora, Mistral AI, Olama, Cohere, Grok, DeepSeek, and Together AI, and Google Gemini AI, LM Studio. There is a huge options here. It's not limited like Klein. So I'm going to use the free trail to chat with it. I'm going to use the GPT-40 because it's recommended in the top list. And I'm going to connect it to the Mistral AI API. Right now, I want you to go ahead and go to console.mistral.ai, which is kind of the, lab, the platform that they have. You will have this layout the first time that you access it. I don't have an API or a plan selected, and I have to select one. I'm going to click set up my plan. And here there is the experiment, basically plan, which is for free. I'm going to select this one. And there is also scale as you go or basically pay. I'm going to select the experiment for free. Now we have created the plan. Let's create the API key. Create a new key by clicking this button inside the page API key. Create it, name it whatever what you want. I will call mine code assistant and the expiration data will put it for about a few. I will, let it, I will put it to the end of the month and create key. Right now I have the key. I will delete it later. Copy and hit back to continue. Click on the drop down and select add chat model. And right now we will select Mistral from the provider and select the model. I will select Mistral large too if I can find it. Okay, I don't have it. I will select Mistral large and put the API key over there. Hit connect and voila, it's connected. But I noticed that it's open the configuration.json file for this for continue and it gave me an error that value is not accepted it's i have to choose the code stroll latest to basically make it work because i have selected mistral ai i have to stick to mistral ai at everything and as you can see here it's have been fixed we close this one and right now we can start chatting with mistral large just before we start coding I am using the same project that I used both in Klein and Super Maven and testing Heiko model, which I kept pronouncing it wrong yesterday in the last video. And it's actually it is a good, very good model in terms of coding capability. And it, I will ask it to create a portfolio page that for software developers or AI engineer. And I'm going to create it in one prompt and see 
how it will do. This is the same prompt that I used yesterday, but I modified it a little bit. The prompt is designing a clean, professional one page portfolio website for software developer. The page should include the following section hero section, about me, projects, and experience, and contact section, and fill in the end footer. Now let's hit enter. All right, from the start, I noticed that it's creating it in HTML, so I cancel it. So the first part, it's not aware which the project like client does. I feel like client has spoiled me a lot. Right now, I'm expecting a lot of stuff from the other extension, which is not happening yet. In order to add this MPT page that I have, I have to click the tag, select files, and select the page.gsx and then give it the prompt and hit enter. Now it's have been done with the code. It took it a while to do this. Right now I can click insert at cursor and it will automatically put the entire code inside this page. And this is the result that I got. It's extremely ugly. I have to be completely brutal over here, but this is until now is 100% free. We didn't pay anything. We can switch to other model. I'm gonna switch to the code stroll latest model and see how good it is. But in order to make the code stroll model work with us, we need to get its own API key, which is kind of very odd. Mr. separated both the models. But the cool thing about code stroll, you can use this model for completely free. All you have to do is go to the code stroll tab over here, and it you can get can have your API key over here. And I'm gonna copy this and I will go back to continue by selecting add chat model and hit one. All right, I think it can work right now. Okay, I did the same thing using code stroll model, but I noticed this model is not designed for coding, it's designed for auto completion. This is why it's completely free. I ask it the same thing, give it the same prompt and the same page. And I started from basically zero. It gave me the layout of the page. The components is kind of, you have to create it yourself. So I told it, okay, design every single component in this code. And I gave it the page that it should use. And it created this kind of very simple layout code. It's very fast, but the code, it seemed like it's not that great. Like it's keep telling me to add the stuff myself. And I don't want to do this. Now I switched to the GPT-40. As you can see here, free trial, which is very limited. It have about 50 inputs or maybe 50 requests. And I give it the same prompt, same page and hit enter. Okay, Mr. L, okay, GBT40 didn't that, it didn't do a great job either. I don't know what's going on, but it's both of them are extremely ugly. Wow. I already experienced with three different models so far, and the three of them are kind of disappointment. I don't believe this, but it seems that I'm going to go back to my Anthropica ABI, and I'm gonna use Haiku. I also noticed something slightly annoying, that when I was trying to switch to Anthropica provider, I don't see the Haiku 3.5. All I see the Sonnet 3.5, the Obis, the Sonnet 3, and the Haiku 3. I will, I will select the Sonnet 3.5. One of the cool stuff that I found that you can actually apply the code automatically inside the page that you have and it will modify only the lines that it's wrong or basically edit it. This is the result of the Sonnet 3.5. It's almost like the Heiko result of the video yesterday, which is actually very good. This is the result that I got from basically Sonnet 3.5 and this the result that I got yesterday from the Haiku 3.5. You can see the difference. I am not joking. Haiku is amazing. Have two styles, light and dark. Colors are amazing. Here it's almost the same thing, like the same icons, the same format. Footer, experience, project have almost the same design, but the Haiku is extremely better. One of the nice stuff that also continue allow us is basically the ability of writing documentation for the code automatically and comments and optimizing the code. And all of this is like just two clicks, click on the selected code and select from continue whatever what you need from it. I am trying here to do the same thing that I did with Haiku yesterday is copying a style of a page without basically me writing the code and I give it the entire code base. It should figure out which part that I am referring to. 
and I told it I want to copy the same style of the board page.gsx and improve it and let's see if it can do that or not. I think it figured it out because it's right now it's because right now I see it that's understand that there's a version of portfolio page and I didn't say anything about portfolio and it's copying the style here. Continue is so far better than Super Maven, but just behind clients slightly. Not like in major big step, but in a, I will say very small step. Now let's apply and we'll see what result. Continue also have automatic auto compilation inside it. And I didn't notice this until I got this kind of error that the code that continue created is not complete yet. So it seems that it's aware that it can close tags and do comments for the GSX. The auto completion is not that bad, but I feel it's more effective in the back end, not the front end. I feel it like it should continue the code. So I'm going to ask it to continue the code. I feel like it's cut out the last part, which is the footer. Yeah, it's aware of this, right? It did give me the code right now. I can copy it and paste it over there. All right, it did copy the entire style and improved it as I requested. As you can see here, it's it's slightly, yeah, it's better, not slightly better. More skills, feature product is much better. The professional experience is a little bit better. And here is the original one. It feel like a smaller version of this one. And this one is much bigger. And also there is the background here is bolsing with color. I love this. I can put some sort of image here and it will give me this kind of effect, halo effect around the image. It's not happening in the high conversion model, but it's happening here. I love this kind of details and the switch light. Light seem also working. One of the stuff that continue have, but Klein, I don't think it have, is this kind of commands, like command to edit selected code, to comment, or basically write comment for the selected code, share this kind of code or the markdown that you have, generate shell command and commit to GitHub and basically test or you need to test the code and you can add your own custom prompt. This is really creative that if I can add my own custom prompt, especially if I wanted to enhance a prompt automatically before I send it, I can add it over here. It have this reference. It doesn't add automatically the reference to itself. And I have no idea how client does it, but it's amazing in client. You can reference folder, problems, terminal commands, get different codes, basically the diff two different version of code, documentation and code and the code base itself, which is automatically find the relevant files and this is basically the default option in client you can select a certain file using this kind of using the reference of files which i did use it in this video we can add more context providers i have no idea what it does it mean but it seemed like you can customize this part for adding more references here is something continue kind of doesn't work but it should be if you selected or highlighted any part of the code and if you click Control L on your windows, nothing will happen. To add it to the chat, actually, you have to right click and add highlighted code to the context, Control Shift L, and you can find here the chat, you will find the code that you selected. And you can request to modify it as you want. And if you want to modify the code inside the editor itself, select the, or highlight the code that you want, Control I, and right here, improve or do whatever what you want. This code and hit submit. And it will go ahead and improve even the code inside the page itself. You don't have to go to the chat. It's like cursor, but the UI is a little bit different. And accept all. And right now it have been modified and save it. I feel like that continue have some certain good points about it that client doesn't have. And finally, if you have a certain model on your local machine, like I have using Olama, you can automatically add it by drop down and selecting this model. I have the Quint 2.5 coder, which is a very good model also, but it's not that good as like the Claudia models. And I want to end the video by talking about the key difference between client and continue to dev. I feel continue to dev can hold its own against the client in some areas. First of all, terminal access. Continue.dev doesn't have client accessibility to the terminal. 
client can access the terminal easily and execute command without you doing it. They both have decent chat with code. Client slightly better. The auto completion. Client doesn't have auto complete for the code. Both of them are free in terms of it like it's open source. Anyone can use it. The provider client have the open router providers which will allow you access a ton of all, uh, other models and they have decent amount of providers but ten, but continue have more in terms of the accessibility providers but both of them are correct uh, like better than super moving and uh, to be honest better than a lot of other extension both of them have access for ulama which is extremely important both of them can edit the snippets but continue is better auto code based awareness here client actually win with like extreme success okay the auto code awareness is amazing in client continue the dev no doesn't have this uh, you have to add your own basically file and folder or both the reference every time that you share with the code custom prompts Client doesn't have this same custom prompts like continue the dev. In continue the dev, it's amazing. You can add any custom prompt that you want. Token displacement, no client does have this, but continue doesn't. The price of the consumed chat, continue the dev doesn't have this. In terms of updated, I feel client is more updated because Haiku model is not there at continue the dev yet for some reason. And last thing, which make it a little bit very good, continue.dev have a free trial that you can access for about 50 requests, I think. Then it's kind of shut down and you have to buy or plug in your own ABI key. But client doesn't have anything like this. You have to bring your own ABI keys from the start. And with that, the video are done. Thank you for all the lovely comments that I'm getting lately on the channel and uh, ideas that I get on the comments. You have better ideas in mind, so I'm gonna keep listening to you guys in the comments. So if you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like and subscription button and leave a silly comment down below for the algorithm. And if you have an idea about a video, just let me know down below. I already have created three different videos from the comments that you already give me. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.